Hello everyone, happy Friday, welcome back to my channel and today I am giddy with excitement actually to share with you my latest setup which is of the gorgeous Aura Estelle uh, Cloud Planner, this is an A5 rings wide and this is in the enchanted indigo color uh, this is vegan leather is soft and buttery I am in love with the scalloped edge I actually have this in another color in the pink which is equally gorgeous but um, just FYI if you are missed out on the latest restock uh, Tiki is having a restock on the 18 I think I saw on her website but um, check again or Estelle uh, for more information but let's start by talking about why I'm so excited well first of all I'm not I do don't own many blue planners so I just love that this blue is pastel enough for me to uh, you know work with kind of my aesthetic because um, I had something special in mind for this planner I've been wanting to do um, more of a celestial type theme uh, planner because I had a lot of accessories a lot of beautiful journaling cards that I wanted to use and uh, I thought this is exactly the perfect time this is the perfect planner for it so uh, without further ado let me share with you exactly everything that I have used and uh, uh, let me take this little babies out this crystals because once I open it they will knock everything out and by the way if you're wondering this is just a little charm that I made when I was into making resin and it's super easy to do it's just like resin and you uh, pour it inside uh, this uh, charm which is uh, you know just the frame of it and then you put little uh, accessory in it but I thought it will great so removing all my crystals um, but because this is a big planner so this is an a5 wide and it's going to take the whole frame here but let's look at the gorgeousness i mean doesn't this match perfectly i just i just had to now let me put the beautiful there we go flap right under it so on this side uh, tiki gives us a ton of pockets she also gives us elastics that you can use for if you have uh, um, an a5 uh, insert that you want to use in here the rings are nice and big so i could actually use as many as accessories and kind of 3d decorations as i want it now um for the pockets i like to stuff my pockets with cute things cute accessories not necessarily super useful i just like to do that so i like to put little uh paper clips like this beautiful paper clip from southern mess designs this is an older um um a sticky note from uh, the gp uh planner studio now like oh gp box or something like that they don't make the boxes anymore they're based in australia but i did subscribe for a few months and i still have um you know a lot of the boxes and this one it was one of my favorite ones then i have a couple of sheets of stickers from simply gilded from irene these are the little icons heart icons then i have this uh, journaling card which i actually used in a previous setup because i did do another setup which is more galaxy theme but the color scheme was slightly different so this are um, an assortment of washi tapes from previous boxes and from um, like this is from the july box uh this one i can't remember it's a galaxy one but how gorgeous is this uh, um washi card so i had to put it in here i took it out of another setup now back here what we see here is actually a magnet this was a magnet that came with the, the uh, rock stars box which is from 2018 um so i love that box uh, this is basically the theme of that box and I held on to everything that came in the box until I found the perfect setup and this is it so basically this was hanging on my rascal card but I wanted to use it in here but I didn't want to 100% commit to not being a magnet in the future so basically what I did is I achieved this large paper clip in the past using washi tape and it sticks there it holds on to it real tight I even have it like I'm using it like this so um it sticks nicely and it holds it there so I'm very happy with that now in here I have one of the little um, sticky notes from the Rockstar box which I think are still available on the website I need to restock on this because I am using it basically all that I have left in the setup and then here's the little TN insert from the box the beautiful colorway that it just sits there to you know 
kind of bring in the you know you know if you follow me you know that I always do that I try to bring the colors from this uh, section of the planner to this section so there's a smoother transition then I have these gorgeous stickers also from uh, Simply Gilded the Pink Galaxy and then here there's this little ID card kind of a business card section that I'm always kind of struggling with it but what I did with it I have uh, used now if I don't know if you recognize it but this was from the Rockstars box and it was um, a little um, what are those called uh, it's called it's basically like a larger sheet where you can write on I can't remember the word for it but it has beautiful crystals on it and I ruined it because I removed the holographic finish from it and so I cut it down to the size of a washi card and then I have used here this initial from the Fox and Pip and I actually added um, you know that nice um, clear like uh, sticky paper that you can find at um, at Hobby Lobby that has uh, you know kind of translucent a little iridescent finish to it I put it on top to give it a little extra oomph and then on the side here I have this little paper clip that's from Heidi Swap it's an old one I use it on the white side and I added a little 3d heart from the planner society and so I think it looks really cute there I was planning to put um, more washi in there but I thought that it was already busy enough with the you know different colors so I didn't want to go too crazy with it so let me actually move this a little bit so we can get a better look now here is my first uh, very first dashboard and uh, i had to use this paper this acetate this acetate is from the planner society and uh, let me see if i can get something white in the back so you can actually see what it looks like yeah because there's a lot of reflection sorry guys and uh, uh, this is from the november 2019 box uh, and it's just stunning it has constellations it has uh, some sort of uh, vortex i don't know what that is but it's a beautiful beautiful uh, acetate and i wanted to use it as my first um, acetate here and here on top I have used the little uh, this was the keychain bulk clip from uh, the simply guild the July sub box is past July and uh, there's a little moon here a little moon a charm now it came with a little uh, musical note here I removed the musical note just because it wasn't sitting flat enough for me to close the planner and so I have used instead this cute little charm always from the planner society this is from a previous box it was in one of our little planner charms and I just attached it there just to customize it and I just love it so once you turn the page here is the real first dashboard now these dashboards are big let's let's not <laughs> get about it these are big because this is an a5 wide so in order to um and if you have seen my other setup the one for um the pink one which uh, if I can, I will try to include uh, up here. Otherwise, you can search from RSTL A5 in my feed and you'll see it. Um, do you have to use a pretty large piece of uh, backing paper? So that has created kind of problems in the past because I am trying to use up all my supplies and I'm running out of really big pieces. But this is paper that I had for a long time in my stack, uh, the background here, and it's little trend. Um, like there's little stars it's uh, uh reflective it's actually a sticky paper so if i lift it here on the corner it's a sticker and you can get this at hobby lobby and on top of it i have used a gorgeous paper from um hello pity paper co this uh paper you'll see throughout is it was part of a kit that was called uh, um bird song and uh, it came out a while ago so she doesn't have that in the store anymore but again i held on to it for a long time so if you can see there's a transition of beautiful like soft blue to soft pink it's got little white stars and then on top of it i layered um this other um uh, kind of it's not actually acetate this is like a really thick plastic this is from happy scrappy and then the main <laughs> dish is this gorgeous card which came in the uh, rocks uh, which came in the um in the box from the planner society and it's just uh, too beautiful i mean how stunning is this um i love the colors i love how it just like 
blends in perfectly and I just added these little stars now these little stars I've had probably for 15 years um, I used to have this cute little uh, Swarovski little crystals for my daughter to uh, work you know using her craft and I just uh, you know had to use them again and then here in the between the two layers between this thick clear plastic and the uh, journaling card which by the way says there to be dazzling I have used uh, this little trim that you can get at Target dollar spot I always uh, kind of stock up whenever I find it and then here the word shine which is a sticker from the planner society uh, that just came out recently was in the you know uh, recent release and because the color matches perfectly and i put a little swarovski on the eye and this this cute little cheap um swarovski plastic crystals and then on the side i have the glitter edges from the planner society so now we'll just talk about oh actually and here is if you're looking for the, the paper, it's called Mini Silver Stars 12 by 12, 199 at Hobby Lobby. So now you know everything. But now let's discuss the inserts. So the inserts I have used are actually from Tiki, from Aura Estelle. These are available in our store. I've used these before. I love them. I wanted to try something different. And honestly, I didn't want to print. So uh, I have wanted to use these because they just work perfectly with uh, your, uh, you know, um, Erin Condren um, um, stickers. And also you can customize them. So they come in different colors. I kept only the uh, pink ones for the month of September. And so I'm going to give these a try. I'll share some layouts with you guys later. Now the back of this dashboard, uh, it's a different type of little uh, glitter. It's not really glitter. I mean, it's just, uh, kind of metallic, uh, you know, with little stars, a different one. It's always from Hobby Lobby. And here you can see better, let me see, the uh, paper from, um, Hello Petit Paper Co, uh, which is Vanessa, and uh, it's just gorgeous. It has a little, even little bows in the back here. Then I have the four plastic Swarovski, and then here is that sticky note again from the GP Sticker Studio. And then this is, I just kind of like, so this is a sticky note, but this is not. These were little die cuts that came in the same kit, but I wanted to create kind of the illusion that it is a constellation, you know. And so I just put these uh, on uh, 3D dots. And so you can kind of, you know, if you know that it's a sticky note, you know it, otherwise you don't. And then here I have another sticker from the Planet Society that says Flossum, the same. Uh, kit not kit, but it's the same sheet with a little heart and then this is also an acetate from the GP planner studio and I use the word planner girl from the planner society right there and then here's my favorite um, you know washi dashboard that I have made in a long time I just love everything about it now mind you this is a lot of washi so my heart was kind of sinking so you can definitely just do one side and then use maybe a pattern paper in the back if you don't want to use up all this uh, much washi I just had to go for it because I really wanted to have the full effect but it is a lot of washi also because I'm doing two but and in the middle here I have uh, this um, uh, cute sticker from uh, Simply Gilded a little bow that matches perfectly I did not laminate this again um, again I've been having still lamination issues and I just did not want to risk ruining all this beautiful washi so I've left it as is now this actually came from my other A5 uh, uh, Aurora, Aura Estelle um, planner setup. I basically took it out of that other setup and it's uh, this jelly paper I don't have anymore and so I had to transfer it. It's got the initial from Michael and the color is just perfect. It has little stars. It's just the perfect match. Now here is the second dashboard and then uh, I have here this gorgeous gorgeous uh, card journaling card and uh, the back here is um, the glitter paper and then I have glitter edges again from the Planet Society and then the um, this beautiful card which I believe is from Two Little Bees. Now I will need to double check because I meant to do it early but of course I completely forgot but I'm pretty sure this is from Maria and then um, but I've had it for a long time in my stash so uh, that's why I can't remember guys and then in the back here I have this beautiful paper which came from um, a Hobby Lobby pack and if I turn around I can see it which is called like a break of dawn a break of dawn it's the it's a really thick um, 
uh, pack of paper and uh, this is one of the papers that has this kind of like purples and little blues etc so I wanted to again layer it up and I layered it with this acetate from the Planet Society latest box which has this cute little dots and then uh, glitter more glitter paper then some little pearl accents some little hearts uh, a little um, little bow that I got from uh, Amazon I think and then the, the word again is from the Planner Society I just love this I, I basically used up all the stickers that I like from that sheet because it's so pretty but so here it is so this is just a, a little bit of a slight difference but it's still in the same theme and inside here I have this insert from Tiki from RSL which is basically uh, 2020 um, you know you can look at it it's like a year you know here and two, two pages so that if you just want to look at dates whatever it, they're there and I just love the fact that it matches the color scheme so it had to be in here and then here is the back now if you notice I had to use a different glitter paper because I ran out because out of a 12 by 12 I can only fit one of uh, these sheets so I'm gonna have to buy more glitter paper but this one is slightly darker so it irks me a little bit but I was not gonna try and go to Michael's and find more but um so slightly darker same uh, little pity paper co background this is uh, an adorable die cut from the same GP planner studio old box this is a little sticky pocket with the uh, bows from the planner society I just added a couple of these uh, pearl accents and then the back here I have the gorgeous uh, seals from uh, simply gilded they came in the July box I have some stickers from Michaels and then I made a little um, you know washi uh, card using the washi from this uh, um, washi dashboard and it's so pretty and then here's another washi dashboard again can you imagine how much I don't even want to look at my rules how much I use for this it's just gorgeous but I use different colors uh, bows and then I have uh, this vellum which has this pu pretty little stars silver stars which is from Hobby Lobby then this is a very old uh, 3d kind of like uh, it's not wood it's like pressed paper or something like cardboard from um, Michaels and then here is my last dashboard because it's always oh uh, my dog is getting upset I don't know I don't know why he's barking sorry about that but um, yeah ig please ignore the barking actually hold on and I'm back I'm so sorry uh, my little Yorkie was met at the neighbor I don't know why he thinks is uh, some sort of Rottweiler but instead is a you know four pound three pound probably Yorkie so he needs to adjust his attitude but going back on the planner now the celestial planner so let's cool off um, this is the last section and uh, this one was inspired by this beautiful beautiful uh, card which is not a card this is from uh, the July style box from the, the um, simply gilded and this is actually the cover or the gorgeous b60 and insert which I trimmed down um, the plan the not the planet the box also came with a journaling card but the moon was in rose gold and so I just wanted to stick with the, the silver uh, theme and so I sacrificed the TN insert just to get this beautiful beautiful um, uh, you know kind of centerpiece and as always is layered with glitter paper then uh, this little scalloped edge from uh, um, Target more vellum here and then another one of the beautiful papers from um, Hello Pity Paper Co more glitter and glitter edges glitter everything basically more glitter the better and I just love this this is very serene it's very soft very soothing and uh, um, here I have some blank paper also from Oristel and again this is so much easier because uh, I have been messing up you know, like punching holes in the round size so I was really happy that um, at least for this you know for this setup so I, I was really happy to have inserts that are already perfectly uh, you know uh, the punch hole all punched and then here is the back and uh, it's just more of blue themes and so the same you'll see more of the paper from Hello Pity Paper, Paper Co. Then I have some stickers from the Planner Society. I have some nail decals from Simply Gilded, a little glitter bow and this is a little die cuts from the same kit from Vanessa and then the, just the end it's the vellum with my initial. Now on this side there are two actual uh, two uh, little loops for your pens so I wanted to add two just because 
then I have stickers from the Rockstars box that I never use because I love them too much. I don't know if I'll have the courage to use them. And then here was one of those little uh, cards, little, not cards, this is a page marker that I was started to make with the, the um, July kit from uh, the uh, Simply Gilda and the toppers from the Planner Society. And this is it guys, I hope you will love it as much as I do and if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to uh, send me a DM on Instagram and I will be glad to answer all questions. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Bye bye.